Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Tool Talk TV where I'm joined by Jonathan Collier, Managing Director of Monument Tools to talk all things benders. Enjoy today's show. Guys, before we get into it, my name's Adam from Tool Talk and I'm joined by Jonathan Collier from Monument Tools. Jonathan, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Really good today. Good. I'm looking forward to this conversation. So I'll be really honest with you. I've seen a lot of that product recently. Yep. But this product's been around for a while, hasn't it? Yes. What am I looking at? That's got a bit more weight to it than I expected, to be honest with you. What am I looking at here? So that is a combi or a scissor bender. It's a product that's been in the marketplace for certainly our one, I would probably say 15, 20 years. It's a really good product. That one specifically we have made for us uh, in the Far East. Um, we put some finishing touches onto it. So we, it's, it's a really good quality product um, and we like selling it. Um, it does a really good job. As you said, it's, it, it is, it is relatively heavy. Um, it's got a, 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 a hook stop that moves across depending whether you use it 15 or 22. And it does have separate guides, which are aluminium guides, which as we know, people do lose those as, as, as they go through, through the day. Um, and they do get bumped and chipped in the toolbox. So we, we sell quite a lot of spare guides as well. But it's, it's, a, really, it's a really nice quality product. And, and for all the guys watching this now, this is going to look very familiar for heat engineers, isn't it? This is what they know. Uh, that, that has been around in the marketplace for as long as I've been selling hand tools. So I've been in the, in the business for 25 years, and it was certainly a product that we did before I arrived. So let's move on to this. Yeah. I know a lot about this. What are we looking at here? Do you want to, do you want to crack a couple open? Yeah, so we've got, the, there's a 15 millimeter version uh, for the UK, and then there's a 22 millimeter version for the, uh, for the UK as well. And if we look at the 22, you can buy them with or without extension handles. And what's the purpose of an extension handle? So when you're bending, when you're bending 15 millimeter, whether it's with one of these new single single size ones or one of those, um, it's relatively easy because it's obviously a smaller diameter pipe. When you're bending 22, it's actually quite hard. Um, so we can bend comfortably. 15 millimeter on a combi bender or on our benders by hand, 15 millimeters, relatively straightforward yep. to do. When it comes to 22, you need quite a lot of oomph. Um, one of the reasons that on a traditional combi bender and on these is you would have a, 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 a rubber foot that would, so you could put the bender on the floor and then bend it like that. Okay, Some people, you just need that leverage. You just, you just need some additional leverage just to get the bend started. You can bend it without, mm -hmm. Uh, the extension handles, uh, and I got to a point where I could comfortably do it, um, but some people just want a little bit of extra leverage. And the extension handles, just a point to note, is that they are interchangeable between the 15 and the 22. Just a quick question, just to pull back. Yeah. Is this a single size, or do you have extension handles for the bottom of these as well? So we made an extension handle for that, so it's about a couple of feet long. Yep. Um, you take the foot off and you could put an extension handle on that as well. Okay. But they're not the same as these. Because we don't manufacture that and because we manufacture this in the UK, these are threaded and these fit into, and thread into the end of each of the handles. This is completely going off topic here, but um, is this the same thing that we saw in the Monument Masters where one of the guys had these and actually used them for radiators so is so, that is that this th there's a really really weird way so so things happen by accident so when we started to design this and manufacture this we wanted to find a standard size tube in the uk so i think that this is it kind of looks like one inch tube um, and you can buy tube in the uk when we then decided that we wanted to have an extension handle on the back we wanted to find a thread and we found, we cut that thread um, using the machines that we got at Monument Tools. And we've cut a female thread in there and then there's a male thread on here. And just purely by accident, it's the same thread that you end up in the top of a radiator. Um, so if you actually wanted to carry a radiator. So I saw the photo of one of the Monument Masters with it. You could actually thread that into the top of one side of the radiator, thread that into the top of the other side of the radiator and you know, assuming how, depending on how big the radiator is, you could get you and your mate to carry that radiator out. Pure accident. A complete accident. <laughs> Love it. Talk to me through this, because obviously this is a single size bender compared yes. to the combi. Yeah. Why? Why would you want a single size bender? So this product, 
by no means is new. There have been single size benders around for a number of years. Um, there, there hasn't been one in the UK for a while. Um, when we saw it and had the opportunity to manufacture it, we realized that it was just a different way of bending pipe. One of the things that immediately you'll notice is it's lighter. So just it's also in two pieces. It's in two pieces, yeah, but that, that, there's a reason for that as well. Oh, yeah. You can immediately feel that, that just to bend 22 is a lighter product because you don't have the 15 side of it. Yeah, significantly lighter. So it's, it's, it's a lighter product and theoretically it's easier to use. Mm -hmm. So on this one you have a floppy hook stop that you have to hook over the pipe. On this one when you fit your pipe, when you fit your pipe into the pipe, you don't have to fiddle around with the hook stop. So immediately your pipe locked in. Is, is locked in place under, underneath its own stop there. And then you're ready to bend the pipe immediately. And it's, it's that simple to put together. So it's, it's, it's quicker to put together. Yep. You can actually kind of use it one-handed. If you want to try and you, if you want to try and pick that up with one hand, you, you, I'll let you do it and it's gonna. Yeah, yeah. And then you want it, you've got to open it up. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that is a lot heavier for me than it looks, but you are looking at someone that is used to working on a laptop all day. Um, that is a heavy bit of kit. So just tell me about the use case. You know when people are doing, and apologies for the lack of knowledge here, when someone's doing an install job, do they yep. tend to be mixing often between 15 and 22 on the same job? Or are some jobs 22 and some jobs predominantly 15? So I think as, as far as my knowledge of being an installer, is, it's, not, it's not a huge amount of knowledge, but the majority of internal fittings within a house to rads and to taps is going to be 15. Mm -hmm. But when you are bringing in feeds, you're going to be bringing it in in 22. Okay. So it's not as though that it's a 50-50 split. There's, there's almost certainly more 15 than 22, but you might just be on a job which is 22. Okay. Um, and we appreciate that. And therefore, part of the advantage of that is if you're only doing 15 mil runs, you don't need to carry around a big, heavy combi bender. You can just carry around your 15 mil bender. Like it. Anything else that you want to cover off about this new bender compared to the, the traditional combi? Yeah, so I, th I think, I mean, if, if we open the 15, Get this out of the way for a sec. Well, that is significantly smaller. So if you if you just if you just open the 15 and then look at just the size of the 15 compared to the combi, I mean that's a really nice, light and easy easy product to handle. In terms of storage, what is this normally stored in compared to this? Because that feels like it'd fit in your normal tool bag. Yeah, so, so one of the things, the advantages of this is it does fit in your normal tool bag. So what, what I've seen guys in the back of vans, they'll, they'll, stack, they'll prop this up in maybe a bit of four inch drain pipe. They'll prop that up in maybe a four inch bit of drain pipe. Okay. This one is the 15 mil, is small enough to fit in your tool bag without any shadow of a doubt. I feel the weight of that? Yeah. And these also, yeah, okay, so if you, do, if you do just want that extra bit of leverage. Yeah. The 15 mil just comes as, you can buy them with I guess with because you, with 15 mil you're just bending it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll show you a, a, a 15 mil bend and show you how you fit the pipe in. It's, it's got the um, radius angles marked on it. They're never perfect, so we've sort of gone between limits on them. Mm -hmm. um, and as you go past 30, 45, Oh, sorry, that's what these markers are here. Yeah, okay, so those markers there that you, you might be able to see on there. And certainly on the other videos that we've done, we, we, we've marked those out. Okay. But as you, as, you bend the pipe, it it, 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 as you bend the pipe, it tends to come back a fraction. So you may want to go past or come and let it come back or go near it and then bend it a little more. I guess that comes with just having, having a bit of usage of it and knowing yeah. how the thing works. So you go 30, 45, 60, and then you can go up to there's the 90, you just passed the 90 there. So you can see that as well. Yep. And then it comes out nice and simple. And you can just have a look at that on how nice a bend it creates. What's a nice bend mean for a, oh. for a plumber or a heat engineer? Like so what, what, would, what, would make, what would make someone bend this and go, no good? What are they looking for here? So I think one of the, one of the important things is that it doesn't ripple. Um, we put some... Rip, sorry, ripple? So rippling is when, when the pipe 
tends to, I mean, it looks like a wave. It looks like a number of waves on the inside okay. of the pipe. Like it's crimped it slightly. It's like it's crimped it. Okay. And, and what that tends to happen is, you don't, A, it looks awful, and it will then interrupt the water flow. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to ensure that the radius on here is as close to the radius on there. So some of the questions we've been asked are along the lines of, does it create a tighter bend mm -hmm. on, than a combi bender? The answer is no, it's a very similar bend to a, to a combi bend. All right, so no rippling, good bend. It's, it's, it's a nice, clean bend. It, you know, the, the, some guys prefer the bend on that, some guys prefer the bend on this. As long as the water flow isn't interrupted, it's, it's a good, clean, good, clean bend that, that, that we're getting from this, from this product. Um, in terms of people who are watching this right now, where can they get this? If someone's looking at this and saying, actually, I've got the combi bender, I want to try the independent ones, I want to try the single benders, where can they go and try these tools out right now? Where can they buy them? So one of the things that we've, we've tried to do with, with working with um, with working with you guys is we've tried to create a pull effect in the, in the marketplace. Going to taking this to a new, or taking this to an existing merchant and saying that we've got a new product, we would always get a lot of pushback. So we've launched the product um, through a website called Monument Masters, uh, and you can certainly buy it there. It's then, as the word has spread and we've created that pull effect, and as other engineers have gone into merchants and asked for Monument, and as our sales team has gone out to try and sell it, we get that peer review from, from you guys that have helped us out. Um, the merchants then can have that knowledge that the product that they're buying is actually a good product. So it's available from monumentmasters.com, uh, and then at the moment, uh, a number of uh, independent uh, plumbing merchants. Perfect. Guys, you heard it there. If you want to go and grab the product, you can find it, put it into Google, you'll find it. And if you want to see some reviews, don't forget to check out tooltalk.com where you can see reviews on these new benders. And guys, out of curiosity, in the comments below, which one of these do you prefer? Do you like having everything in one place with the traditional combi? Or are you actually interested in giving the new single combis a try? Guys, until next time, stay safe, speak to you soon.